Okay, in this video we're going to go over sessions, so let's click on this right here and we're going to go over the sessions. Now we've already talked about the GMT, the global setting. If this is selected, the GMT times don't matter here, okay? So I have it selected, so I'm not going to worry about those. Uh, but we're going to talk about the sessions, which is right here to here, okay? Now the Asia session, all of these are set up for Eastern Standard Time, okay? So the Asia session is hour 20 to midnight. London is from 2 to 5 a.m. New York Kill Zone is from 7 to 10 a.m. AM session is from 9.30 to noon. Lunch is from noon to 1.30. And the p.m. session is from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, that is what it is. So your chart down here should be set to New York time. Okay, if you want to have the times down here in your time, but you want to show the Asia session in Eastern Standard Time, you can just change this. Change your chart down here, but leave, leave this alone, okay? This is always set to New York time. Don't change these to your time. Only thing you need to do is change your chart time down here, okay? So I always get this question. Okay, the Asia session is from hour 20 to midnight. Why is it defaulted? Shouldn't this be 20 and shouldn't this be 00? zero? No. Well, this is the start time. This is the end time. Okay, let's talk about the start time first. Every candle has a start and an end time. Okay. The start time for 1959 is 1959 and ends at hour 20. Okay. 2001 candle start time is at hour 20 and ends at 2001. Okay. Hour 20 has two candles. When you look at the code for hour 20, it has two candles that it can pull from. 1959 and 2001. Okay. 2001 candle start time is, is hour 20, and that's what we want here. We want to start at 20, so 2001. Okay. So if I say 2001, it's going to pull the start time. What's the start time? Hour 20. That's why the start time is, is one minute after here. Now, why is the end time one minute before? It's the same thing, just in reverse. I want to end at midnight. 2359 starts the candle. It ends at midnight. When you have an end time, it, it goes to the end time. So if I chose midnight, it, it starts at midnight and ends at 1201. So if I put 1201 here, it would show me the 1201 candle. I need a 2359 candle because it ends at midnight. And this is the end, what time I want to end. So these are defaulted to be exactly what this shows via the code. Okay. So basically your start time needs to be one minute ahead and your end time needs to be one minute before. And if you do that, you're fine. Okay. Now, Asia session. This Asia session, this is the high is this Asia session high. You can change it to solid, dashed, or dotted, and you can change the color. Okay, this is Asia session low. It being checked, it'll show the low. Unchecked, it'll take it off. Okay, so again, solid, dashed, dotted, and you can change the color. Okay, so let's go to our chart here, and you'll see here's the Asia session low. Let me show you. Here's the Asia session high. Let's just zoom in here. Okay. Asia high and low. Okay. I get asked when one gets taken. Okay. Like it gets taken right here. It gets taken right here. Right. Why don't you just have that line automatically removed? Well, if it was automatically removed, you wouldn't know where the Asia session high or low was. And it's a manual thing. I want to know when I get to it takes liquidity here, whether it's already taken a low or not. When I take hit, when I uncheck this, this low, this high is going to go away. Okay, just the line and the label. The price stays. Okay, that's why I like having the price block here match the the line color because I know that hey the Asia Asia high was up here. Okay, it also reminds me at the end when I'm done I need to turn this on so when the next day when I turn the Asia Asia high session high on low on, it pulls both. Okay, but I want it to be a manual thing 
because I want to make sure that I'm looking at this the right way that it took this liquidity. If I didn't have this on here, I would not know that that was taken. Unless I, met, I looked over here, but let's be honest, when you're over here, you wouldn't know if this was the high or this was the high. I mean, you could go by the time, yes, but I like having it on there manually, okay? So if you want it to be automatic, my answer is always going to be no. It's going to always be a manual thing, okay? I want you thinking about what you're doing when you're taking things off, okay? So now let's turn on the London session, and let's just turn them all on here, okay? PM session. Turn them all on here. All right. They're always going to be to the right of the candle a little bit and then the, the labels, okay? Now you're looking at this, like, hey, why is AM session right here, right? If you look at the time, let's, let's just zoom in here so you can see the time here. We're in the AM session. If I look at this, the AM session, AM session is from 9.30 to noon. Okay, 9.30 to noon. We're in the middle of the AM session, okay? Why is the AM session here? Well, it pulls the last AM session, okay? At 12.01, the AM session will now be the AM session for this current day. It's not going to pull it every candle until it's until it's until that session is completely done. So when it is... here and it actually might be right here actually when when our when price gets down to here the am session will convert over to this high and whatever the low is here right now it's showing yesterday's am session okay why is it doing that because it's going to show you the yesterday's session until the new session is, is made. All these other ones have already ended and finished, so they're the most current one, okay? So if you're thinking, well, I'm in the middle of the AM session, why isn't it pulling it? Well, is that session still going on? If it is, that's why. It's always going to show you the day before until it's done. It's going to show you the most recent full session. The session's ongoing. It's in the middle of it. It's not going to show it until it's done, okay? So I'll just remove these lines here. Okay, and let me show you something else here. Let's turn off all of these lines here. Oops, not that one. I also gave you two other sessions, session seven and session eight. Okay. Now, if we look over here, I, mean, I want to show you Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Turn this off. Tuesday, we had this happen, okay? Now I'm just going to replay this right here. I'm going to pull this to right here, okay? So in our stuff, we have Asia range starts from 20 to midnight, right? Well, here's our 20 to midnight. This starts that range, okay? Well, we don't have the PM session, the latest one we have, ends at 1600 right here, okay? So let's, let's mark these on here. 1600 stops there and here, okay? In this range right here, we don't have anything that marks a high and a low here. And what happened? Let me slide this over. What happened in between here? Well, this took out a lot of highs and a lot of lows, right? So what I do is I use session seven, I'll turn that on, and I'll mark this as 1601, and I'll mark this at 1959, okay? And now what it'll do, it'll mark this high and this low, okay? And see, session seven buy side, session seven sell side. Okay, this is this area here is not tracked in a session. Okay, and so sometimes you want to have this marked because it'll it may do this after hours before the the Asia session starts. 
And when it does, you want to have these highs and lows marked. And so that's why I have this session seven. Okay. I also gave you session eight as well. So you can do those as well. Okay. All right. So that's the sessions. And like I said, you want to have one ahead and one behind on the start and finish. Okay. And then if you're using the GMT, this needs to be unchecked and you can use this time. If not, leave it checked and ignore this. It's already set up default wise. Okay. And then if you want to show the chart time, the times in your chart, right? Let's say we're in Berlin. Okay. Now we're in Berlin time. Okay. It's going to change this, but this is still what it would be in New York. See that the lines didn't change, but the times down here changed. Now let's go to, we're in Shanghai. Okay. These change. This is still New York session. That's all set up that way. Okay. I usually get a question about, I'm, I'm in somewhere different and this, it's not working right. It's not showing the right times. And I always ask, what's your chart set to? What are you changing the stuff? And usually what, where people go wrong is they try and change this to their time. Don't change this to your time. Leave this at New York time, Eastern Standard Time. Only thing you got to know is what the GMT setting should be for daylight savings time, what we're in. And that's it. Leave these alone. Okay. The only thing you want to change is your chart setting to whatever you're at. Okay. Like I'm in the Midwest. This is what it is for me. Okay. But I leave my chart to New York because that's what I want to trade. That's how I'm, I'm trading. Okay. So that's your sessions. The next video will be on new week opening gap and new day opening gap.